What's up everyone, it's Gary Vaynerchuk uh, doing an interview series with founders. I, I, I'm not making a prediction that I'm gonna do this often because the truth is I like to hear myself speak more than I like to hear other people speak but I figure we're at South By. DRock is sad that I didn't tape any Ask Gary V episodes so I decided to make some content. Obviously for the Ask Gary V show, Meerkat has become a new amazing addition for the behind the scenes. Uh, obviously I've been paying attention to it very heavily. It's been the whole buzz at South by Southwest. I've been following Ben's career for a, a long time since since this product was an iteration, a couple of iterations ago. Uh, so uh, Ben, why don't you tell the Vayner Nation a little bit about yourself and what you're doing now. So um, we, we work in the live video space for over two years, two, two and a half years now. We're trying to figure out how do we form a new habit for people to uh, go out of the comfort zone and live stream because this is something that people don't do often. I'm 27, um, from Israel originally. Uh, you look architect. great. You look 24. <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, studied architecture. Uh, I dropped out of uh, uh, college in, in my third year uh, to build Yevo, which was the first iteration of this product. Y e v v o. D Rock. Show it. Show. Show it. How it used to be. Go ahead. And uh, what we figured out over the time with Yevo, Yevo grew to like 400,000 uh, users, uh, but we felt that there's no heartbeat and what we thought that our vision for this thing to be is not, it's not what it's going to be. So we, we go back, we went back to our investor and said, you know, we're in half, half, half of the way down and we think that we should close that plat platform and we need to do a series of iteration based on what we learned. Uh, so we set up this six experiment and the first thing that we put out uh, was Meerkat, which is kind of, the whole team was working on a different experience, one to friend, which was a big use case of uh, Yevo. And Meerkat just took off. It was built just by the CTO, the client, not the backend. The backend, we worked a long time on that. Um, and just took off. And after five days, we decided to focus the whole team on that. What was the first day that it was launched, when the taking off started? Uh, exactly 16 years, 16 days ago, uh, 27, uh, 27 of February. February 27th. Yeah, and since then, uh, Red Bull, American Idol, Tony Hawk, uh, the Secretary of Commerce, the Governor of Florida. Gary uh, Vaynerchuk. Gary Vaynerchuk. Why don't we show the leaderboard right now? Yeah. Gary Vaynerchuk killed it yesterday with, uh, I think, the largest amount of uh, concurrent watchers ever. Uh, more than uh, more than 15,000. It was amazing. So, what, what do you think the biggest misconception... Yeah. What was the biggest misconception of Meerkat right now, two, three weeks in, we're just getting going, a yeah. lot of opinions, yeah. you know, Twitter's gonna shut you down, yeah. Periscope, so, yeah. I don't get it, why not you stream? What, yeah. What's the biggest misconceptions you're hearing right now? I think the, bis the biggest misconception is underestimating a team that was with a product outside and had 400,000 users and had the chance to iterate and make mistake over and over and over again in this. We had to let go four, four person of our staff, reduce it. It was, we've been through a lot of shit. And the biggest misconception is underestimating how unpolished product could be and underestimating what a team that had a product out for two years and closed the product and tried different things uh, can do. The context of all those learnings. The context of all this learning, just, this is one misconception. Like this. Uh, Forget about, you know what, let me take a spin off because I think a lot of the people that watch this are less worried about where you're going, yeah. which I think is right, the business world. Yeah. What about them on a day-to-day -day basis? Normal people oh, who are, oh, yeah, yeah, let's go that route. All right. So. This is the biggest misconception, and, and people ask why now? Why now live stream? So, when we were kids, we had cameras. Our parents had cameras. Uh, we know what's the standard of a good photo. We know how good photo should look like. What is the mindset behind good photo? Uh, what are the standards of what it means, a good photo? So when a software substitute came, like Instagram, it was an easy transition for the habit forming to go to the software side. We know what a good photo should look like. We know what it means. Live streaming is not. We didn't live stream when we were a kid. Our parents didn't live stream. And the biggest misconception... Don't worry, we're raw. All right. D-Rock's here. Yeah, we're just... Don't worry, keep All it right. rolling. 
doing, D-Rock? You know All how right. I like it. Ben, All right. Ben, I like it biggest... straight. All right. I like it live stream. No problem. I, lo I love it real time. No problem. I love the real shit. <laughs> Why do you think I like what you do? He, I tell him all the time, all don't right. edit. Tell him, don't edit, D-Rock. Don't tell him. edit, D-Rock. Yes. <laughs> Go ahead. All right, so in the early 20th century, people didn't smile on picture. It was weird to smile on picture. Or in Russia in the 60s and 70s because they were miserable. Keep going. <laughs> And that means how habit needs time to evolve. And we're just now unlocking this habit of live streaming. Live streaming. How people are going to be live streamers. What does it mean? What is a good stream? What does it mean to be, what does it mean to discover live streaming in real time? And I think there is a lot of this for us to learn. And there's a lot of this that we already learned. And I think that the biggest misconception is thinking that there is that there is not going to be a new medium here because it, because we are unlocking new sets of habits. What percentage of normal people do you think don't think live streaming is going to take off? I don't. I What's don't your know. guess? What's your guess? I don't know. I I, I, I assume a lot of them because they're not. They don't know what it means to go live. They don't know what it means. They know what it's live streaming. Do you think? Do you and think? They think in live streaming. Ben, in do the you think? Do you past. think? 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 year olds are more likely to say this is going to happen? Definitely, because Snapchat, they, the Snapchat, which is an amazing company, they just went with a big machete and just paved the road. Did you guys go with your yellow color because of Snapchat? No, because because Meerkat is in the Kalahari Desert and it's it's very yellow it. and it just like made sense. And then the first time we said like, oh shit, did we make a mistake? <laughs> it's when you try to open a Meerkat and you open Snapchat and then you say, and then I came to Uri and he said, I said to him, Uri, I think, I think, I think maybe, maybe it's not a good idea that it's yellow. And he said, dude, it came from a very true place oh. in the heart. And so leave it that way. And so leave it that way. Yeah. Ben, and, yeah. good luck to you, my friend. Thank you. Guys. Thank you for having me. Cat it up. Cat it up.